So yeah, I was already working 80, 90, 100 hours a week on my deals. And what I what I did was uh, a little different. I decided I, you know, again, M and A is a fact pattern based business. You know, and it's it's a, you know you can't learn M and A at Columbia as great as this school is. You have to learn M and A being taught by somebody who does it, a practitioner. And you have to put yourself in a position where they are willing to teach you. And Goldman at that time, because of the way they were organized, had a, a, a team structure where you worked on multiple deals with multiple partners. You weren't attached to just one partner. Okay, so as a result of that, you had a chance to work on as much as you could handle. Kind of point one. Point two, I focused on my early years in hostile raid defense. Well, why? Because a hostile raid defense is basically a sell side that's short. It's something you sell a company in nine months, you're not doing it in nine weeks. So now you can become an expert and gorge yourself on the fact patterns of deals and deal construct. And then created, I created what was then called real life training, which was every Friday we bring whoever partners were in the office and they'd go through the deals that they had worked on and what were the fact patterns. So part of it was stealing myself. So that was kind of the first thing. So if you are sitting in your organization thinking about going to do something else, you need to make sure that you are the best skilled in that organization before you do that. Or you spot an arbitrage in the market that you can uniquely take advantage of over a long period of time. But the first thing is you've got to have those skills. I mean, I, there's, you can say, oh, I'm going to go figure it out. But I think you should figure it out before you leave. <laughs> and have a very specific design in mind where you can take advantage of that arbitrage. And I like to say not measured in years, but measured in decades. Okay, and then one of the most important things which I learned uh, in chemical engineering is you have to keep the ignorant uninformed. Don't tell everyone how to do it. <laughs> if you spot that arbitrage, go do it, and then build systems and barriers so that not everyone can come into your marketplace once they realize that you're making a fortune. Okay? So, I mean, be thoughtful about it. You know, people have put barriers to us for hundreds of years, and they've been thoughtful about it. <laughs> so be thoughtful about creating an economic opportunity for yourself and for your community where you can sustain that advantage. We do some things in our communities that no one does. We got the brilliant Will Packer here, who is brilliant at what he does. The question is, we let too many people copy what he does. The industry is set up for taking brilliant talent and exploiting it. And part of what we have to do as business students is think about how do we keep that exploitation from happening for as long as possible. It's going to happen for as long as possible and ignore the economic benefits of that opportunity into our community. That's the key.